There's something that beginners do while grading in DaVinci Resolve, and that is not using the most underrated tool in the color page. Hey guys, I'm Danny, your friendly neighborhood colorist, and in this video, we are going to be talking about a tool or a feature in DaVinci Resolve, which is parallel notes. I feel that parallel notes are super underrated because a lot of the grades out there that I see on Instagram and TikTok, they're all using serial notes. So I'm going to show you how you can utilize parallel notes in your grade and not just only use serial notes. All right, so we have a clip right here and the grade is already done in this compound note. So everything is within in here so it's a my whole commercial note tree right here so let's not talk about that let's not even talk about the working color space and this and that because this is not a video for that this is a demonstration to show you why we should use parallel notes with serial notes together and not just use serial notes all the time if you're not familiar with notes each note is a corrector note so they are all the same this note this note except for this note because this is a compound note so each note is all the same it's in the way that we arrange them that's what makes it different and in the color page we have different types of arrangements you can go into the note right click go down to add note and you see serial note serial before which is same as a serial just that it creates a note upstream of your current note and there's parallel notes layer note and also outside note but for the sake of this tutorial let's just keep it to serial notes and parallel notes this segment of the video is sponsored by freewell they sent me their pro card reader which is compatible with cf express a b and also sd and tf cards it comes with a type c cable and it transfers up to 10 gigabytes per second and it also comes with a carabiner so you can attach it to your back in terms of storage, you can store up to six TF cards, three SD cards, one CF Express A and one CF Express B, and also two nano SIMs. It's really the on one too if you have a ton of memory cards and you need a card reader on the go. Right now, I believe there's a discount, so do use the link in my description to check it out. So a serial note is as what you see here. There is note number one and then note number two. So this is in a serial format. If I create a parallel note by right-clicking add note, or parallel and the shortcut key for this is of course option p it will come as two notes with a parallel mixer so what are the differences between parallel notes and serial notes let's have a look so i've been watching on instagram those kind of tutorial breakdowns everyone's using serial notes like this so i'm going to label this contrast and then for the second note i'm going to label it saturation right so most of you will do your balancing all in serial notes. So let's say if I add another serial note and let's do what else are there? Curves, something like this, right? So if you put these notes in a serial format, each note will be receiving the signal from the previous note. Let's say in my contrast note, I'm making a contrast adjustment, right? Something like this. And then in the saturation note, I'm making a saturation adjustment. So what this saturation note sees is the signal coming from the contrast node and what this curves node sees is the signal coming from the saturation node in a way serial nodes are reacting as in layers in photoshop so you can imagine this as layer one saturation as layer two curves as layer three so they are stacking on top of each other that's why there's a demonstration that i like to use in all my courses which is in the first node let's say if i reduce the saturation all the way to zero and in the second note, which is receiving the signal from the first note, I increase the saturation to 100. But can you see anything happening? So there's nothing happening, although I increase the saturation to 100 because I remove everything from the first note already. So all the notes downstream, which is note number two, note number three, and even this compound note is all without any saturation in it. So let's say if you're working in this order right now, I'm going to reset them. And then let's remove one. Let's keep it simple to two notes. So in the first note, I'm going to increase my contrast like what I did. Okay, something like this. Okay. In the second note, I'm going to increase the saturation. So if I place them in serial notes like this, the contrast adjustment is going to affect the saturation adjustment. So let's say in the first note, if I do something like this, which is to brighten everything up. And that also means that I lose a lot of the colors or in the saturation. So in theory, my saturation note doesn't see 
as much of the colors or it doesn't recover as much of the colors if I'm feeding it the signal from this first node. Let's say the sky here is very desaturated right now. And if I increase the saturation, I only get to recover a certain amount up to an extent. So the simple way to tackle this issue is to place them in parallel nodes. Let's move this aside, turn this off, and let's create a parallel node with option P. And I'm going to copy this adjustment here and paste it here. All right. So for the contrast adjustment, I'm going to reset my offset. Okay. So I just want a contrast coming over and the saturation adjustment is basically the same. I just copy this over here. By using parallel notes like this, both of these corrector notes are feeding from the same signal, which is the source over here. So they are both looking at the same image and whatever details in the saturation that you want to recover, see, that's a lot of blue right here. And then if I'm doing a serial, it would be a slight difference. To make the comparison, I'm going to grab a steel, right click, grab steel, and let's wipe between this and that. Okay, so on the left side is what we have currently, which is parallel notes, and on the right is in serial notes. So you can already see the differences in the sky and also a little bit of the red over here. When we are doing it in parallel notes, the reds are a bit deeper and the sky is a little bit lighter. When we're doing it in serial notes, which is downstream like this, the sky is a bit darker. And by this point, I know some of you might say, hey, Danny, I think that the darker sky is actually nicer. And I won't fight you on that because yes, I do agree that this darker tone of the sky is nicer, but in terms of workflow, it's a little bit destructive, which means that whatever adjustment that I make in this contrast, will affect this saturation adjustment. And I would categorize both of them as color correction. So I don't really want one to affect the other. I want to have the full flexibility and control when I'm doing these type of correction adjustments. And by using parallel nodes, it is sort of like placing them in layers. Let's talk in terms of layers. So saturation will be layer two, contrast is layer one, and this parallel saturation is also layer one. So you can stack two layers together. And then this node number four is the layer on top, which is kind of unheard of if you're not using a node-based workflow because layers can only be stacked on top of each other, not parallel to each other. And if you are also curious to know what is happening with these two nodes, it's basically combining together using this parallel mixer and it combines as if these two are one node. So basically, if you don't want to separate this out, you can also make the same saturation adjustment in the contrast node itself, and it will match up very nicely. So this is just a short tutorial on the different types of nodes, and I do a full explanation on my online course, which I will be updating by the end of the year. And if you're interested to get that, please do get that now. I'm planning to include live webinar passes into the course so that you guys can interact with me and ask any of the questions that you want to ask for your own workflow. So I'm very excited for that. If you learned something new in this video, please drop a like and subscribe to watch more. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.